Hello. So today we are going to talk about the Excel minimum and maximum function. So if we have a series of numbers and we have to find out which is the largest number and which is the smallest number in that series of numbers, we can find out very easily. So first we have to focus on the nodes. What is the nodes? That main point that should be remembered while writing or doing any functions in Excel. So let's talk about them. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Every function begins with a is equal to sign. Is it very common? It is very common that every function in any function which you are writing, it begins for with a is equal to sign. Second, after the is equal to sign, write the function's name or else you cannot take out the correct answer. Now, after the sign, first you write the sign. Let me show you. First, you have this sign. Now, you have to write the function's name, the function name, so that it can find out the correct answer. It can, if you are, if you want to multiply, like, so you will write the product okay. function, but if you have write some function, so it will be wrong. So, you have uh -huh. to know what is a function. So, you should know the name of the function as well, which is very, very important. Now, let's proceed to the notes. Now, the next is then put a parenthesis or bracket. So, you should, uh, you know, put a parenthesis in the simple ways we call it as bracket. This, uh, yeah, this one, which is there, you can see it. This one, bracket. Like, first, what you write is something which is very important. Let me show you. Okay. Yeah, now this, now the function's name, what is the function's name, which is Sam, bracket, cell's name, oh uh, yeah, so, uh, cell's name, till here to here, enter, your answer came. Like this, this, these are the notes and I will also keep them in the description. Let's begin with third uh, function. Okay. Yeah. Now we are going to find out the maximum value here in this range. Okay. The maximum value in this range. So let's write here four and here hundred. No, it's hundred. Uh -huh. And now let's write here any number zero, 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 zero. Yeah. Now we have to find out the maximum value. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, we are going to find out the maximum value in this range. Okay. So, as our note follows, we have to go according to that. So, as the note says that first put it is equal to sign, we have put it function stream, which is max. Now, Third, what was that? Yes, the parenthesis. Now, cell's name till here to here, which is A1 to A7. Okay, which is A to A7. I think you know how to, uh, what is the name of the cell, how to identify them. I have, uh, I, in the many of the videos, I've just talked about it. So, I think we have done it in, because it is a name. How to identify in which column uh, fi this 5000 is there? Mm -hmm. We can identify because it is an A column and one row. A column and one row. Now, if you don't want to write it down because it's so lengthy, we can also select it and like this till here to here and then close it. Then write enter and the answer is 50, oh sorry, 5000. Now, what it tells us the maximum value because six is smallest. No, no, three is smallest, and the, this is second smallest. This is a little bit more smallest. Now, see, this is smaller like that. Now, it is the biggest value because it has three, uh, three numbers. It has two numbers, and this is this has how many numbers? Four numbers, right? So, it is the biggest value. Now, this was the maximum function. So, we have done the maximum function. Okay. So let's write here. Now, yeah, maximum function function is done. 
Now let's do the minimum function. The minimum function is like that only. Now we will uh, delete this and we will do the minimum function in this environment. Now here is equal to sign. Now min. Now you have to put the parenthesis like that. Put the cell's name. Close it. Enter. Three. Three is the smallest value in the given range of this series. So like this, you can find out the, uh, you know, uh, maximum, how in the maximum value in a given range, and also the minimum value in the given range. So it's very easy to do that because I have to tell you, so it would be easy. And if you didn't know, like if you are still confused in it, how you can do it you can see the description box it is detailed there also so if you like my video don't forget to like share and subscribe bye bye